Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday about 8.30, and we got a really late start this morning. Normally, we'd be like at the gym, like really well into our workout at this point. But uh, we got a late start. We slept in just a little bit. Not a big deal, not a big deal. But we decided to go ahead and swap out our workout days, and today we're going to have a core day, which we can do entirely at home, so we're not going to even like go out. So we can get it done even faster. Yeah. That'll be really exciting. Then we can get down to business. Yep, we got a few things to do today. We've got to take this little girl in for a bath because she smells like butt. Yeah, you do. Gosh, every time I turn on the camera, she's like looks lazy and dejected on the sofa. I wish I would remember to turn it on when she's out playing and being a goober. But regardless of that nonsense, got a few things to do. We've uh, got some adulting to do. Yep. But it's okay, we've got this, and uh, it's gonna be a fun day regardless. You can turn adulting into fun. It really isn't that hard, guys. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how many of my subscribers or viewers are younger than me or about my age or older than me, but if you're younger and you're like still getting your life together, I promise you, adulting's not as hard as it seems, and it's not as scary as people make it out to be. So, there's hope. You got this. Let's get our workout in. That's Oh, my word. That was my first crush core day. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that was absurd. I can't believe how hard that was. It was a good workout. It was a really good workout. And then, of course, in true style of our family, instead of showering, we just jumped in the pool. Pool time. So now it's time to fix my hair again, get dressed, and... Get on with our day. All right, we're getting all ready to go. About to take a little boob up for her bath. And I just wanted to take a second to document how good I look right now with my hair before I get in the Jeep and ruin it with Jeep hair. You look awesome, babe. Let's do this. Do you see this nonsense? All this business? This is what I'm talking about when I say Jeep hair. And my hair is even pulled up. We just dropped Moxie off at the groomers. It's always so sad. She doesn't like when we have to leave her. It's so sad, but she's gonna get all clean and they take really good care of her here. We'll show you when we pick her up. It's such a cute place. But now we gotta go do some grown up stuff. She okay? Oh yeah, she was good. Good girl. She didn't wanna leave, but she was good. She never does. Yeah. All right, time to go sell some old clothes. Yay. Okay, so we went to go sell some of our like old clothes or whatever to like, it wasn't quite a consignment store. It's called Buffalo Exchange. Kind of like Play-Doh's Closet, but for more grown up clothes. But nothing that we have is cool enough for them. So we sold like one thing, right? Yep. It was like a purse that I think I got one for 75 cents at like a carnival or something like that. So, I mean, I guess we made a profit technically. Technically, yeah. But we still got all that that I now need to get rid of. Do you guys know of a better way to like sell clothes or get rid of clothes or something? Because I don't want to just throw them away or give them away necessarily. I want to see if I can make a little money off of them. If I can't, I'll obviously give them to charity. But if you know of anything, let me know. I'm really anxious to get these out of my garage. So anyways, now we're here to pick up Moxie. I don't think she's quite ready yet, but we're tired of driving around and it's mm -hmm. hot outside. It's so hot out here. It's like 95 degrees and it's humid. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to wander around the pet store in here until Little, little girl is ready to be picked up. Do you see my Agua Fresca? Do you see that? Was my girl a good girl? Was my girl so good? So oh, you smell better. You smell way better. You don't smell it's, like a butthole anymore. Because you're in the dirty, dirty, dirty Jeep. Ew. Muxie, Muxie, I bet you were so good. I bet you were. Okay, Mox, it's time to go. It's time to go home. I don't know if you can tell from here, but she's sitting on top of the bags of clothes <laughs> that we brought. There's plenty of room for her, but that's where she wants to be. Okay, Mox. Okay. If you say so. 
You're gonna get uncomfortable. You're not gonna like it. Alrighty, boo boo. Pretty good. We got home and I picked him up. And he hasn't moved. He is completely limp on my shoulder. I've just been walking around, carrying him like a baby. He's a baby cat. Look at this. Can you see how limp he is? I don't know if you can tell in the video, but he's like, okay, now someone's filming you and you don't want to see it no more. <laughs> I caught that on camera, Mox. Mm -hmm. I really need to get my bangs trimmed. These aren't even bangs anymore. This is just front hair. Okay, well, now that that rather fruitless endeavor is over, I guess we'll get some work done here. I know you've got a couple things that you need to get done. Graphic design stuff? Yep. Cool. Works time stuff. You have a bug? What is it? Get a bug. There's a bug on the table, baby. Is that a spider? Is it? It's on the coffee. Ah! Yeah, it is. It's a spider! You're not allowed in this house. I don't like spiders, and I don't like cockroaches. I can deal with pretty much any other kind of bug in the universe, but I can't deal with spiders, and I can't deal with cockroaches. <sighs> okay, so with that in mind, what we're gonna do is we're going to spray more bug barrier around the house to make sure the spiders don't come into the house, and then we're gonna get to work. So, I don't know if I've talked about it in a vlog before or in any of the videos, but our neighbors are big fat jerks, like our upstairs neighbors, and they play their music so loud during the day and during the night, and the bass shakes the walls and the ceilings, and it's absolutely unbearable. So rather than eat at home tonight, we're gonna go out to dinner because I just couldn't stand it anymore. So it is hot as all get out, and since the doors are off, the sun is going right on my legs and I'm gonna get a sunburn, and I'm gonna get a tan line from these shorts. Eh. But that's okay, because we're gonna go get nachos. Yeah. <laughs> I might get a margarita. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. They make good margaritas here. First, we gotta get through this. Well, yeah, look, the highway is moving a little bit now, so I might get back on it. And the truck in front of us looks like Batman. It looks like Batman! Look, guys! Just pointing that out. That's not actually the, the truck in front of us. It is actually the truck it's, in front of the truck in front of us. the truck in front of the truck in front of us. It's called Deception? No. No, it's not. Everyone who makes that joke is stupid. Because that's not how that movie worked. That's not what Inception means, guys. This is one of my favorite restaurants in like the Austin area. And it's actually up north. It's not actually in Austin. It's, it's closer to it's like Round Rock. Yeah, like in the Round Rock area. Tortuga Flats. If you don't know where that is, it's north of Austin. It's called Tortuga Flats and I love it. And we're gonna get we're gonna get nachos, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Wow, I just realized how horrible I look right now. Sorry guys. My makeup is all kinds of gone because of all this sweat and driving and stuff. But decided to go ahead and get myself a margarita because I've been very good. I got me one of these. <laughs> which don't don't judge me harshly because I know I know this is not the highest quality of beer, but there's just something about a corona. I don't know what it is. Like we were talking about it. It's like the McDonald's chicken nuggets of beer. Like it's not good. You've had better. But there's just something about it. I don't know what it is. I know what it is. It's the Fast and the Furious movies. Totally the Fast and the Furious movies. Like I will say, I only want one when I'm here or when I'm watching the Fast and the Furious. By the way, little known fact about me. The Fast and the Furious franchise is one of my favorite movie series of all time. Seriously, I cannot wait for Fast and Furious 8 to come out. It is, I am so stoked about it. So many people get so surprised when I tell them that. I think it's so funny how many people are just like, really? They're like her favorite movies. I love them too, they're like her favorite movies. They're up there. As far as series goes, they're up there. There's like, Jaws is my all-time 
my favorite movie, like of all time. Lord of the Rings is absolutely my favorite, like, trilogy that exists in any medium whatsoever. And then there's the Fast and the Furious. I'm not kidding you guys. It's better than Harry Potter. Fight me. <laughs> I have a little bird friend. Guys, look at how cute he is. Aww. You gave him a bigger chip and he flew away. <laughs> I can't see anything. This light is like reflecting off of the camera. So, there's only one person in the world who I trust to drive my Jeep, and that's this guy right here. I love driving the Jeep, by the way. And tonight he's gonna have to drive the Jeep because I haven't had a drink in forever, and half of that margarita has me pretty buzzed. Not like, I'm not drunk, y'all. I just shouldn't be driving. He had a Corona, and that's Kool Aid, so. I had a Corona at the beginning of dinner. And that's Kool Aid, so. Essentially, yes. Time to go home! Good morning. It is the next day, and I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so I guess that's about it for this one. I'm gonna continue working today. I've got a few videos that I'm going to film and then hopefully put up either uh, today, tomorrow, next week, sometime. So I'll start working on that. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!